find a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah. Live from Los Angeles, here's Everyday Woman. Welcome to Every Way Woman, and today we are going to be talking about natural hair. We have Denise Culpepper, who is the creator of Chrysalis Natural Hair. Hi, Denise. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. How did you get started? Well, first I want to say, is that your hair, girl? Yes. It's all mine. It's all mine. Tell us, how did you get started on your natural journey? Well, my natural journey started when my daughter, Alicia, was born. She okay. was born with a head full of hair, and I wanted to know... What can I use on it? I was already using different products that were considered really good products. And once I started using products on her hair, I noticed that the products were too heavy and they were mm -hmm. building up on the hair. Mm -hmm. It was hard to wash the infant's hair forever in the sink. And I needed something that would be water soluble. So I created um, Chrysalis Natural Hair Care yeah. line. But I started not with these bottles. I started in my kitchen from a humble beginning. <laughs> and, and I was mixing um, different ingredients and different things of that nature. And I started coming up with different things. And I started off with the transformation gel, which okay. is the soft right. coat here. This was the original product that I started off with. Mm -hmm. And um, what I noticed is that I could style her hair mm -hmm. without the buildup. I could mm -hmm. rinse it off, wash it off. What does that mean, transformation gel? gel? Transformation means that it's actually going to help smooth the cuticle of the hair. Mm -hmm. okay. So the hair may be um, bushy or unmanageable. What I wanted to do was be able to smooth her hair into ponytails and make actually make it last throughout okay. the day. So uh, this may seem like <laughs> a stupid question, but the other I, I naturally have curly hair, but well, it's not as curly straight. as yours, mm -hmm. but it's naturally yes. curly. Right now it's straight. Okay. Right? It's beautiful. <laughs> but um, I was looking for something that I could spray in it real fast. I was like, can I just crunch it up and just yes. let it dry so it'll be curly? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find anything, so I find myself standing with all of the colored hair. Well, we have mm. exactly what and you need. And it's not that it's not that there's not that many products. There's yes. like a whole line, yes. a aisle and a right. half of other products, right. and then there's this little section. You said right the here. colored hair section? Yes. You're standing? Okay. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That's where you're going to find it at for your hair. Well, I was for looking the, for it in there, but then I'm looking hair. through it, right. but I didn't know. I was like, I don't know what <laughs> yes. to do because everything was about straightening. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, right. And I couldn't find anything for it to keep curled. Yes. Right. But Denise, I know mm -hmm. that with natural hair, because I'm going through my own personal mm -hmm. natural hair journey, I was yes. thinning. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yes. And so I know we struggle through that because a lot of stress comes through our scalp. Exactly. What are some of the like best products we can use for thinning and balding and all that stuff? Without this, staying away from all those chemicals. Right. You said you were... Because every product out there is, has some kind right. of fragrance, something to kind of... Yes. Well, you definitely want to use something that's natural based in okay. this beginning. And plant based products are the best. That's what Chrysalis is all about. Mm -hmm. um, this logo is here, the butterfly. We took our whole concept from the story of the cocoon with mm -hmm. the caterpillar mm -hmm. resting in the cocoon. The cocoon and the butterfly actually rest on its leaf. Mm -hmm. And that's what we took it from. We said we're going to use plant base, just as the um, cocoon and the caterpillar rest. Our hair should be resting. Our hair mm -hmm. shouldn't be in a state of shock. Mm -hmm. And you've seen it before. People's hair looks like it's just right. screaming for help. Um, the, the product is to help the hair rest. And not only just the hair, but we focus on the scalp. Mm. Without a healthy scalp, you will not have healthy hair. So, mm -hmm. Denise, you're about hair care hair and not care. hair styling. Mm -hmm. That's right. How we have styling become, aids, though. We cover it all. How did you become such a hair expert? Are you a cosmetologist by yes. trade? Yes. Okay. I am a licensed cosmetologist. Okay. I've been in the business for over 20 years. Wow. Okay. And I've been um, using different products as well, but uh, I couldn't find anything, like you said. Even as a professional, 
there were things that I struggled with with products and mm -hmm. they were either too heavy, too gooey, mm -hmm. or they were not water soluble. It's very important that your products can wash off. See, okay. I've never heard that before, that the product needs to be water soluble. Yes, because your hair and your scalp right. needs to breathe. Mm -hmm. Is that well, any type of... Yeah. Hair is this for just women of color? Is this it for product? Right, as you see, it? yes. <laughs> okay. I, and that was another thing. Uh, my clientele is multicultural, oh, and right. I wanted to create a universal product line. So it was important to me when I talked to my chemist that he understood that yes, I'm an African American woman, and I want a product that can work on my hair, but also work on anybody's hair because hair, at the end of the day, is hair. Everybody really has it. And what I want to express is, didn't you say that you guys recently just got approved by the Whole Food Store? You have been approved. Oh, really? Yes. yes. <laughs> so now you can find them in the Whole Food yes. Store. Yes, and they have a very strict policy when it comes to approving products. So wow. we passed the test. Okay, because you know the misnomer is natural hair tends to be for women of color, but mm -hmm. like natural yeah, hair is for right. anybody, anybody, just anybody. natural right. hair care product. Anybody. Denise, can you talk a little bit about yes. hair growth? We were talking sure. about yeah. how important that is for a lot hair of Hair growth, as we said, is significant to a healthy scalp. Mm -hmm. You can't have healthy hair growth with your, if your scalp is in poor condition. Mm -hmm. So you really want to take the time to nourish the scalp. This is what Crystals is all about, from shampooing your hair mm -hmm. and conditioning treatment you need to be focused on the scalp. Your applications mm -hmm. with Chrysalis mostly are to the scalp. And you'll see wow. with the directions where to apply the product. Well, let me ask you a question. Where can people find you though, really briefly? You can find me at chrysalis.biz. And to that, how did, well, we'll come back. Cause I want to ask I you about how did, how did you get this business plan started? Because it's phenomenal. Well, well, when we come back, let's talk about when you come back. Let's talk about your business plan. We can talk about planning and balding all day. Thank you so much. But we'll have more. Stay tuned on Every Way Woman. How you got what started. Do you, what do you mean thinning and balding? Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. Are you in every way woman? We're back, and I cannot believe it that there's a controversy with natural hair. So we have with us Denise, of course, and can you just tell us? What are some of the controversies as far as having natural hair? Well, there's a lot of controversy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed and there is. <laughs> especially when you're talking about um, women of color, transitioning, yes. mm -hmm. um, going from a traditional straight style mm -hmm. that's more uh, socially acceptable yeah. uh, to what, trans, you know, natural hair. When, yes. when, see, I find it surprising that you would say there's a controversy because right. I hear natural Why? hair and I would never think that there'd be a controversy about it. Okay, well, so, Stacy, right? okay, so we were having you. this yeah. conversation. Quickly, my daughter's one day came out with afros, and mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm honest, I was appalled. Mm -hmm. I was appalled that, that they, they had would, an afro? That they would walk out like that. For what? about five minutes, I was like, oh my God, they can't walk out like that. That doesn't look good for a minute. And then I had to check myself because mm -hmm. I raised them to be independent mm -hmm. women. You know, mm -hmm. I was appalled because I thought what other people were gonna say about how they looked and they didn't look mm -hmm. put together, right? right? So it is, there is this misnomer out there about if you wear your hair natural or wild or whatever, that there's something wrong with you. Absolutely, well, Madison. I mean, as far as on the job though, do you think it's a little difficult to have what they would call ethnic hair Absolutely. on the job? I Absolutely, I've been in work environments where women of color are told not to wear braids, mm. don't walk in here with an afro because you need to look like wow. the place. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's yeah, surprising. Yeah, that's that, surprising that shocks me. For me to hear, but I do work in television. Mm -hmm. I work in news, and we, we can't get fancy with hair. And well, your actually, hair is all thick. And do you mind if I take it later? My hair it's all is thick all and full. thick. <laughs> <laughs> These are all clip-ins. I was going to ask you if that's oh, even wow. healthy for me to be wearing that every notice. day because I do want to grow out my hair. No. Um, but yeah, just just in the workplace, that's that's shocking. Well, that's shocking just to me to, to hear, and I'm sure you've heard stories like oh, that. Oh yes, too. I have my own Working. personal stories. Yeah. What's your what story? Is it? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had to motivate you to start this product. Yes. Well, my. Just even now, I, I wear my hair basically any way I want to, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of my hair, and I raised my daughter to be the same way. And but it's beautiful. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. But I've had people, women of color, actually come up to me and call me buckwheat. What? Mm -hmm. No. Absolutely. Well, how did yes. that make you feel? Like buckwheat? Well, like... If, if I were self-conscious about myself right. and my hair, I would have probably felt pretty bad, but wow. I, I took the time to educate the woman Mm -hmm. And um, I don't you know. Like she, you slapped her around. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I didn't know that for a second. 
<laughs> the time. <laughs> but it, it's sad because yeah. it actually, it, historically, yeah. um, women, brown skinned women, have been told that. You can't. You shouldn't wear your hair in its natural texture. It's mm. bad hair. Right, it's right. not going to look right. You're not going to be accepted, and that people treat you differently. Mm -hmm. And so there's a history behind that. We don't have time for that mm -hmm. show, but there is a history behind, um, especially African American women transitioning to wear their hair natural. Do you think that we're scared to wear our hair natural? With the social. Well, with comments, of, yes, yeah. with people, people looking at like you different, exactly. and people making comments to you that way. Yeah, some people and are. Oh, we'll be gold. But you know what? And, yes. and here's what happens: <laughs> like, we're we're biased <laughs> some we're biased on both sides because if right. you wear your hair natural, mm -hmm. for those who who don't wear their hair natural, you talk about them. But if you wear a weave, then we talk about the people who wear their hair natural. Mm. So we're biased on there's bias on both sides. When Rachel Meadow came out with her braids. Uh, as an anchor, there was a whole controversy right. about a woman of color wearing braids on primetime TV. Hmm. But she was beautiful, mm -hmm. and she still wears them. Right. I don't know, maybe if we can embrace it more, then we can kind of accept how we look. But I think corporate needs to accept how we look. Yeah, you know, we have to. Yeah, I think yes. Stacey's right. First, we have to. We accept. have to. We Although have to. I'd, for me, it's, a, it's I'm on the outside looking in because mm -hmm. I. I never knew there was a controversy. Right. I mean, I'm just you're surprised. Not, you're not a woman of color. I don't mean it offensive, but you wouldn't no. understand. Right. That's right. right. No, you're there's right. A, no, you're right. I wouldn't there's understand. There's a long history. Right. Yeah. But and yes, I didn't even know that you say, well, we, I wear it natural goes even hair. Deeper. Like, it goes know. deep. Because hundreds of years mm -hmm. ago, when there was slavery in this world, mm -hmm. there was a time that the more Accepted people were mm -hmm. light skinned, they right. had wavy Low. hair. So I think not the king. And, it, long and hair. a lot of those things came mm, to be right. that it was a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. That's right. how serious mm -hmm. it yes. is. Wow. And so, you know, you have different age groups of how they respond to you. Correct. I've had older ladies, oh, they're panicked. Because, Correct. because in their world, to wear your hair this way was offensive. Wow. And that was my point. Yeah, I always thought it was just a choice of fashion. But like that was, was my point choice. Really? my daughters yeah. because mm. when, they, when they came out with that afro, I you was afraid quickly. what their environment was going to say. And this is what people are going to say about that as a woman with an and afro. And so I'm thinking. Yeah. And we're in 2014. Because we right. come up. This mom is still thinking. I, because we have, it's we, been we passed looking, down. Okay. Generational. We come up looking very I militant. A, I have a niece who's, who's, who's biracial. And she has really natural curly hair, but her, we style her hair straight. My, my sister styles her straight, and she does it, but she says it's because she doesn't like to brush. Mm -hmm. wow. And so I, it's not something that I, I really understand. I feel like when I have my afro, I come off as, oh, she must be strong, militant. <laughs> and it's really like, no, I'm, I just that's want my just hair how you want to wear. That's how I want to wear my hair. Yes. Well, okay, so, that's so let, really me say, changed let me just say something. For my daughters, it was, they had a, a and one of your models says, they had huge afros right. that yes. just wasn't cold. You know what? You have a huge afro, whether you have a huge afro or thinning hair or whatever, more conversations on Every Way Woman. I want Natasha's hair. Are you in every way, woman? We're back with Every Way Woman, and we're here with Miss Denise. Now, I'm trying to grow my hair back. I even learned how to do my own braids on YouTube. I've been trying to learn a regimen. What can I do to grow my hair back? I want my hair like Miss Natasha here. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, you need a routine, and you need a product line. Okay. Chrysalis is a system. So you don't want to mix products. You don't want to mix a bunch of ingredients. Mm -hmm. We weren't all born to be chemists, so we need <laughs> right. to leave that part alone. But we've done it for you through crystals. It's a simple system. It's five steps of treating your hair and your mm -hmm. scalp. No harsh Which, chemicals? No harsh chemicals. This is a natural. And I think you told me you were using. This is a natural plant-based yeah. product line. Okay. So there's no chemical that's going to damage your hair. It's mm -hmm. going to enhance your natural texture, and it's going to give you the healthy scalp that and you Denise, need. And Denise, your two models kind of have us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, I want my chemical. hair like hers. <laughs> okay. I want my hair like hers. Can this you is, tell us what they sure. both did to the this hair is, and this is to get Natasha, to where they are today? Okay. And this is Miss Ashley. Hi. I'll talk Hi. to you about <laughs> Miss Natasha first. She came to me with damaged hair, was okay. relaxed, wow. and it also had color on it. And she had about six inches 
of hair, I had to cut off at least three inches of it oh in order to get rid of the damaged ends. Mm -hmm. The problem is when you're growing your hair out, if you have damaged hair, mm -hmm. it's very challenging because the hair is going to continue to break okay. and the split ends split go all the way, all the way up to the well, scalp. Well, she has a color in her hair right she now. She does have did color. You have did you do that or did you buy from a store? I did this product. Mm -hmm. You did? I, you made I, this product? Uh -huh. Well, her hair color oh, wow. is a semi-permanent okay. color and I add... So is that less damaging? It, it's less damaging. Mm -hmm. and also use my um, product line in the colors. Wow. Okay. Yes. Now, Ashley, mm -hmm. I know you said you colored your hair at the ends, red Ashley, and then when you're yes. Now, what happens? Because she, I wouldn't think she would have any damage. Or, well, you know. she she is using the Chrysalis product line as well. Uh -huh. As you can see, it's a universal product line, so anybody can use you it. You look so happy. <laughs> I was, 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 it really, happy? It was it was it really bad, Denise? Was so her hair very badly damaged? So when I first met Ashley, she yeah. was all natural, no color, no nothing. She's wow. much younger, a couple of years younger, and so she just had a head full of curly hair. Mm -hmm. When I met her, she decided on her own, you know, <laughs> teens are, teens right. will experiment, mm -hmm. and she decided to put um, color on the ends of her hair, you know, that's the, the style. Yeah. And the unfortunately, we know um, that color can be damaged, especially if it's permanent. Mm -hmm. In order to get it to a certain color or lighting, you have to use bleach sometimes. Okay. And it's very damaging. So by putting it on the ends, which are the weakest part of the hair, mm -hmm. you're going to create a havoc of, of just dead hair. So really mm -hmm. quick, because this is my child here. Yeah. She doesn't never want to get her hair washed. What right. Can, never. So what can I do to kind of make it soft and you, you need know, the moist. chrysalis products? Because I want her hair to look like you know to stay healthy like you know yours. Treating you know. her hair with this product line will make all the difference. You'll see mm -hmm. a difference in the texture of her hair, the manageability, mm -hmm. which is the same thing I talked about earlier with my daughter Alicia. I yeah. needed something that would manage her hair and that would not have her. Um, running away from me with the cones, I need to comb her hair. Right. So you need something. And Denise, really, I think love your it. two models are kind of a testimony to how important hair is for it women. Is, like, look yeah. at them; they're I mean, smiling. And no and matter what your hair is damaged, yeah, you are not happy. If you have healthy hair, you're like healthy, you know, all around. Because you want people to say, "Oh, your hair looks lovely as yes. lush." You know, mm -hmm. even if it's like short, you just right. want healthy hair. That's very important. So, really quick, can you tell us the precise regimen? I'm one of those people. Like, <laughs> I need to know what to do from A, B, and C. What okay. do I do? So I use your products. Do I use it every other day? Do I you're use it only use, on Fridays? You're going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know you have that wash day? When we talk about wash, our wash day is once a week. Okay. So you pick your wash day. My wash day is Friday. Okay. Every Friday, I'm going to use my shampoo. And I'm one of those people that, why? Is that a special day? <laughs> <laughs> because it's once a week. Some okay. people's wash day is on Saturday, Monday, or Tuesday. All right. But you're going to apply these products your conditioner, your shampoo, it goes direct to your scalp. This is a treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing like it out there in, this, in the um, product world right now. Our special ingredient is hydrolyzed chitin. Okay. And we talked about this logo, the butterfly. It's mm -hmm. the same thing that makes up the cocoon. Oh, and wow. it is medically researched to um, use for bandages that are biodegradable, mm -hmm. that you don't have to take off because they break down. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that's in these products, in every one of these products. And it has been proven mm -hmm. to heal the skin wow. faster. So when I keep talking about scalp care right. and the treatment straight to the scalp, we want a healthy scalp. And right. you have to have um, the product line. Where can, our viewers, how where can our viewers find you real quick? Where can I'm they? at chrysalis.biz. 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 Wow. And for someone impatient like me, how long does it normally take? You know, you're cutting, you're cutting your hair and then you're starting this, this new routine. Well, what you need to do is be patient, and it okay. does take time. You're probably looking at, with the Chrysalis products, about two months. And you're okay. going to start seeing mm -hmm. okay. a little bit the of growth. growth. Yeah, because I know I was having a few thinning, and so I just started really just do, using essential oils. And that's what's in our product line. Really? Okay, well, you can learn so much about this product. You can go to chrysalis.biz <laughs> and <laughs> check up on what she's doing. And, and these are the products. Yeah. Yes. Stay tuned for more Everyway Woman. Are you in every way, woman? We're back with more Every Way Woman, and today we are featuring Miss Chrysalis Couture Bold and Sassy Fall lineup for 2014. Thank you for your wonderful being a host. <laughs> wonderful host. 
we okay. have our first model, Miss Natasha. She is ready for a fun night out on the right. town and our funky gold beaded fringe yes. vest. You will definitely make a statement as you enter a room. The oh. vest is paired with our gray and black reptile leggings. Thank you, Miss Tasha. Beautiful. Girl, I love those shoes. <laughs> this is the Chrysalis Couture 2014. Here is Miss Lily. She is modeling our wow. Chrysalis hand painted convertible vest. Work it, Lily. Yes. Show them how to adjust this vest and make it, she can wear it long mm -hmm. and she can also wear it short. Wow. Each vest is uni uniquely created mm. in its own work of art okay. and no two pieces are exactly the same. Wow. So these are unique pieces. So you could take them uh, tights off right now and, and give them to me. And you notice the beautiful <laughs> uh, they are cute. blouse underneath is a nylon mesh okay. and it's cool and you can wear it any time in the season. Thank you, wow. Miss Lily. Wow. Next, we have Miss Alicia. She's showing off her sassy cropped yes. lace jacket with bold accent colors. It is a fun piece to add to your collection, and it can be worn for any occasion, paired with our popular reptile textured leggings, and they're all in black. Wow. Thank you, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Now we have models Ashley, Shirley, and Miss Anika. Come on out, ladies. Let's show yes. them what you're working with. We have Miss Anika showing off her red oh, velvet, wow. ever so soft vest. Ashley models our natural brown colored vest. And Miss Shirley is modeling our multicolored vest. And these wow. are in a nice rabbit. Very soft. Oh, wow. A nice Beautiful. rabbit. Beautiful. Wow. Yes. Beautiful designs. Thank you, ladies. Miss Natasha is back, and she's modeling our Chrysalis Couture three-quarter length wow. animal print coat. Work it, Natasha. Yeah. And I love the way she paired it with our reptile leggings with the gray. And if you mm -hmm. can open the front, please, and show them. There's a zipper front. Oh, wow. Very comfortable, fully lined. Thank you, Miss Natasha. Next, we have Miss Shirley. Thank you, Miss Shirley. She's back. <laughs> and she's yes. working our Asian wow. flare toggle button vest. Can you please show the buttons? Nice. And just demonstrate how they come together. And you notice, if you can just turn to the back towards the camera here. There's a nice detail in the back of Miss Shirley's jacket. So it's very detailed and we have a rabbit trim. All right. And it'll keep this you warm and cozy nice. on those cold winter nights. Very versatile. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. And last but not least are our monarch men. Yes, and they're we love rocking. The men's. We love the men's. Come on out. Thank you, men. <laughs> they are walking their natural styles, their natural yes. Christmas styles. And Mr. Tim, if you can just turn around, show him the back of your shirt. And Mr. Titus, the back of your sweater there, nice and clean, <laughs> definite urban look. Mm -hmm. And on back of um, Tim's shirt, if you turn towards the camera, please. His shirt says Walking for Wishes. Chrysalis is about giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And every year we do a walkathon with Make-A-Wish. We've partnered with them in order to raise funds for children who have life-threatening illnesses. So this is something that we're all about. We're beyond fashion and hair, but we love to give back to our people. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, all right. You guys can stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> So much models, come on out. Let's show them yes. these wonderful Christmas couture smell. And we have so much to see here. Come on out. Come on yes. out. Thank you so much. Now, Denise, is this something that you always wanted to do, or did you just strictly wanted to do hair, or did you want to do clothes as well? Well, actually, fashion was my first passion. Okay, this wow. This is something I always wanted to do. So I added the uh, collection this year, the Chrysalis Couture, mm -hmm. and we're just excited to and do this, more. This is kind of like a personal question. Why now? Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so you, you're like a one-shot woman, okay? Oh, yes. You do the hair and you got the clothing line. Yes. I'm going to take home the red vest and a couple of items. <laughs> 
So do you have your own shop? Yes, I do. I'm in, located in the city of Walnut, mm -hmm. and anybody can reach me there. And, and can people order the stuff? Yes, or? they can. Okay, yes. and just let us know, let the viewers know where they can find you. Okay, well, you can reach me at www.chrysalis.biz, and you can leave an email message, and you'll be, it, it will be returned. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyway Woman, you guys look fantastic. I'm keeping the men, y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned for Everyway Woman. <laughs>